If you have been waiting all month for a lobster and why would you wait? <laughs> Tomorrow is your time. Saturday is National Lobster Day proclaimed by the U.S. Senate to celebrate Maine's sublime seafood. It's been a good year for Maine fishermen, at least as far as prices go. But for them, this Lobster Day is overshadowed by worries over new federal regulations that are going to force them to make some big changes. And they're trying to fight back. Don Kerrigan has that story. In a normal year, fall and early winter are prime time for lobstering, when catches are bigger and prices usually going up. But the federal government has ordered the closing of a big slice of the ocean, a thousand square miles, to protect right whales. And lobstermen say the regulations are just wrong. They've put measures in place that are not using the best available science. They are not going to protect whales, and they are going to hurt fishermen. The closure is scheduled to start October 18th. Patrice McCarran of the MLA says there's no evidence whales are in that area, but says regulators so far have turned a deaf ear. We have enough risk reduction without this. Why are you moving forward? We have gotten nowhere. And Maine's congressional delegation hasn't gotten far either. I think the die is pretty well cast. Senator Angus King saying they're still trying to push the federal agencies to change the regulations and to put more pressure on Canada to protect whales. That's what's so irritating about this is that they're putting the burden on the Maine lobster industry when the problem lies principally somewhere else. Meanwhile, the Mills administration has hired outside lawyers to find ways to fight the new rules. And Patrice McCarran says the MLA might be forced to go to court to block them. Yeah, we've reached a point where when everything else you try falls on deaf ears, you have to start to look to courts to get justice for your constituents. She says they'll be working on those options over the next few days. For those lobstermen most directly affected by the closure, time isn't on their side. If the industry or the state are going to take legal action, they've only got about three weeks to do it. In Portland, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.